Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Smith here again. Um, I am Mr. Karen's student teacher. And today we are gonna continue our basketball unit. So to start, we will be reviewing dribbling. And with dribbling, remember we wanna use our finger pads, boys and girls. Try not to slap the ball. Keep your eyes up. So to start, let's dribble with our right hand. And go ahead and do this three times. One more time, boys and girls. Great job. Now we are going to want to switch hands. So let's use our left hand. Or if you used your left hand last time, try to use your right. And go. We are doing this three times as well, boys and girls. Great job, boys and girls. This time we are going to work on passing. So, with passing, we want our hands on the side of the ball like this. When we pass, we are going to want to follow through. So after I threw the pass, look at how my thumbs are pointed down, boys and girls. If you are at home and you do not have a basketball, try to find any, any different kind of ball, such as if you have a soft, squishy ball, that works. Or if you don't have either, run up to your room really quick, grab a pair, a couple pairs of socks, and make a sock ball. I'll teach you how to throw all three different ones. So, make sure when we are passing, I have an imaginary ball in my hand. I follow through and I pass. So here we go again. Pass. So what that'll look like, boys and girls, make sure we are taking a step with either one of your legs and you follow through. So, if we are at home or outside, if we have a soft enough ball, maybe your parents will let you throw it at a wall. If not, that is okay. You can throw it at a couch, you can throw it at anything, they will let you, but make sure you ask first. So, with this, you will follow through. And go ahead and do that 10 times. And go. Good job, boys and girls. Next up, we have the gopher ball. With the gopher ball, it is the same identical thing as passing. Notice how my hands are here. We're gonna follow through, thumbs pointed down. So, here we go. If you have a basketball, go ahead and do just five of them. And last but not least, boys and girls, the sock ball. This one, pretend it's like a basketball, hands on the side. When you pass, your thumbs will go down. Make sure you bend at the knees a little bit and throw. Next up, we have bounce passes. With bounce passes, boys and girls, it will be the same way we hold for a chest pass. Just like this, hands on the side of the ball. Make sure when you pass, your thumbs are going down. 
notice how my thumb is flicking out. So here we go. Find a spot on the floor and pretend that there is a person. So you want to try to hit them somewhere in the stomach chest area when making a bounce pass. So what that'll look like is this. Make sure you are bending at the legs to get power. So let's go ahead and do 10 passes. And good job boys and girls and finally last but not least we have above the head so with above the head pass you will hold it how you hold the other ones it's just coming down and over your head we are going to do 10 passes boys and girls Make sure your legs are bent. Excellent job, boys and girls. Next week, we will be working on shooting. Make sure you find out what Mr. Karen would like you to turn in for our passing unit that we would love to watch and see you do. Hope you guys have a great week.